active family, healthy, um, never really sick, never really had to go to the doctor besides, you know, little colds here and there. That all changed. I felt a lump in my breast. The doctor felt it and was like, let's send you in for um, a mammogram. So I was like, really? So I went back to the doctor on my 36th birthday and they confirmed that I had um, breast cancer. That was devastating to say the least. We didn't know anything about cancer before we got into this. And so when she was diagnosed with it and she, you know, she kind of followed it up, with, they say it's you know, pretty aggressive. And that was, I did get scared when she told me that. I felt like the world was stopped and it was just, my head was spinning of all the, all the things that you hear when you think of cancer. One of my biggest fears finding out that I had breast cancer was that my kids wouldn't have a mom because they were so, they were so young and they're little and I couldn't imagine them being without a mom. I couldn't imagine losing that part of me, which is my wife and like she's my voice of reason. She's the rock. It would be like cutting myself in half if I were to lose her and the impact that it would have on mine and the kid the rest of our lives would just be unimaginable. I'm so thankful when I did find out that I had breast cancer, um, that I did have a personal relationship with the Lord. It made everything very real when we shaved her head that this is like the real deal. Like this is straight up cancer. Like she's going to be bald and there's going to be chemo and it's not going to be fun. And my husband got the chair and set it down in the living room. We, um, my little girl sat in front of me and held my hands, and the shaving process began. The first thing that came to mind is, all right, you gotta step up and, and be the man and be strong and be positive. I truly believe that God was gonna use her in some way to bless others with cancer. And he did, he has. It's been unbelievable. I decided to start a blog and uh, just so I could be transparent, do a one shot, tell you my thoughts for the day or the moment when I had a, a moment, I would just share my heart. I thought it was gonna reach a small group of people, but in the end, it reached a whole lot of people. I joined MetaShare a few months prior to finding out that I had um, breast cancer. And um, so I was kind of nervous of how it was gonna work and it has been nothing but a blessing um, for me and my family. MediShare was something very, it was as new to us as the cancer. The first person I talked to was in Florida and it was someone that I felt like was right next door. It wasn't some call center. It, it was a very personal phone call calling about my wife having cancer and they immediately took, you know, took it to heart and was concerned you know, about what was happening with us. When I went to the doctor, I got, well, I would get a phone call through um, MediShare's office, home office, and they would uh, say, hey, we know that you went to the doctor. Can we pray for you for this specific thing? When the bills actually start getting paid, um, you receive what's called a share notice. And what that is, is it's an itemized statement showing exactly who shared what amount to pay your bill. I'd never seen anything like that before in my life. I felt like it was like I had a, a family member in there sharing the burden. The day that I found out that um, I didn't have cancer anymore was overwhelming because it was like that chapter of that book was closing, like it was finished. Oh.